Hey guys, it's Corey from Redefining Strength, and today I wanna to take you through a dynamic warm up. So I'm gonna show you some of the stretches that I use for a full body workout, and I'm gonna take you through each one and let you know why I use each one a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna start with one of my favorites, which is the three-way leg swings. So swinging the leg forwards and back, we're gonna do it 10 times. This warms up, works on the balance, it works on getting the hip open, even getting the glute activated. We'll go across, so we're opening up the hip, working the hip in every direction. Again, warming up the foot, working on the balance, trying to count 10. We'll see how well that works out. And then rotational. So with this one, guys, I find a lot of times what happens is people don't focus on this glute really opening the leg out to the side, and you wanna use this to warm up everything, so you wanna focus on opening the glute out. We're using the glute to open the leg out to the side. Can't talk. Can't talk and balance, too hard. my brain working really hard to count. Whoop. If you can't balance, just try and work on it. Keep the leg swings a little bit smaller. You can use a wall. Obviously, the more you can work on the balance too, the better off you're gonna be. Using the wall can let you increase the range of motion, so it is always an option. We're hoping we're getting about 10 here, but using that glute again to help open the hip out to the side. Good, dynamic squat stretch. So opening up those hips, working on mobilizing those ankles. You can hold on here, you're gonna get your chest up. You can even let go if you want, okay? But you're keeping your heels down, going only as low as you can, hanging back over to stretch your hamstrings and standing up. So I'll do a couple here, just the basic. And I think sometimes we think we have to do a whole bunch of stretching to get ready. So I'm gonna show you ways to combine some of the stretches, be more efficient and effective, so that you don't end up skipping your stretches just to get into your workout. You know, raising your like your hands out in front, you can raise your hands overhead, okay? So this time, whoop, falling over. As I go down, I'm gonna drop one knee and then the other. Get a little rotation of those hips, okay, warming everything up. Then I might come back here, might hang back over and stand back up. I'll do that again, squatting down, rotating a few times. Again, focusing on the areas of your tightness. So if you're not tight in a certain area, you don't have to spend as much time there, okay? Hanging back over. Standing up. Then I might go down, I might sink into that squat, I might do a few rotations, okay? Trying to warm up the entire body efficiently and effectively. Good, hang back over, stand back up. So I wanna get a little lateral. So I'm gonna do some side to side, okay? Just a few basics here. Pushing that butt back, really sitting back, staying low. This time on the other side, I'm gonna pivot into that low runner's lunge. I might even come up to get a little hamstring calf stretch. Pivot back down and sink. Might do a few more side to side. I'm just trying to mobilize. I'm trying to move through a range of motion. I'm trying to get everything open. Again, pivoting. Really squeezing that butt, driving that heel back. Straighten the front leg to get the hamstring, okay? If you need to come up a little higher, if you need to drop that knee down to sit back to get the hamstring, you can. But you wanna make sure you get the hamstring. Move more side to side. We'll do a couple rounds through. Squeezing that butt, driving straight, coming back down. Here, squeezing the butt, hamstring and calf here, back. I might even then come here, guys, and rotate. These are all stretches I do to open everything up, work on anything that's tight, working the body in every plane of motion because I know I'm going to my workout. All right, then I'm gonna come down to the ground. You cannot forget about those wrists. I always include these stretches, no matter, well, unless I'm only doing only, only lower body, and even then, they sneak in because you have to grip those weights. When we sit in flexion too much, you wanna open up those wrists. Back to the hands down, rocking side to side. Then elbow pit rotations. Joints like circles, we want to open up everything. If one thing is locked up, it's gonna cause us to try and recruit mobility or use a muscle or a joint in a way it's not really capable of being used. So we wanna make sure we're opening everything up. Then shoulder rolls, so forwards and back. Often you'll find one way a lot easier than the other way. But you're doing both ways. 
Focus on building that mind-body connection with these two. Good, then rotations. So sitting slightly back, elbow goes back to knee, elbow opens up as much as you can. Because we got a lot of rotational work already. I'm gonna do five on each side. Again, you don't have to spend hours stretching. You just wanna get everything nice and warm and working. Then camel bridge. So I love using camel bridge, and if you can see, the sweat is already dripping, so it means I'm doing a good job with my warm-up. But I'm opening everything up. I'm using this to activate my glutes a little bit too because your warm-up should include activation. So from the side, beginners, you might be here. We're gonna squeeze in the butt, open the chest up. But open those elbows up as you arch up, okay? You can put your hands on your heels to squeeze your butt, but make sure you're squeezing your butt. If you want a little more stretch, you can even point your toes, arching up, making sure you're opening your chest up, making sure you're squeezing that butt though. You're not just arching the low back. You wanna make sure you're engaging those glutes. All right, tabletop bridges. So again, getting everything open, opening up the hips, opening up the chest, activating those glutes. Good, A little plank with reach out and back. 10 on each side. So again, working the hip extension, building shoulder stability, waking up that core. Using the glute to extend, not just sagging though, okay? Reaching out, extending. Beginners. Okay, if this is too much, sit back here, extend the glutes. Sit back, extend the glutes. Otherwise, you're up. But if you can't bring that butt forward, you're not getting as much out of it. All right, guys, quick full body warm up. Got the sweat flowing. <laughs> 